Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? We're here with Big J, Jordan Markle himself. Jordan, what's going on, man? Yo, not much, man. Just just played Cell Surge at the uh, Saturday Gen Con event. Um, ended up taking third place. Third place. At let's go. Congratulations, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's see the deck that you played. All right. So I'm a classic T Swift, Matt. Yep. Go shit right here. My man's a big fan. I am. <laughs> um, so Cell on the front side. Um, you look at the top five, grab a card, and then uh, pitch a card uh, out of your hand. Uh, so it just like cycles through your deck very fast. You get the cards and drop you need to. And you know, we'll get into that. Surge Awaken, you awaken whenever you want. Put two under, green and yellow, and draw, draw two on tap two. Do you kind of like recommend just like stalling or awaken as long as you possibly can? Uh, most times, yeah. It really depends on what you're playing against. Like, uh, I really don't know if I've mastered the skill of when to take life, when not to take life, because it, sometimes it comes up where I'm like, I shouldn't have took a life there. But like, it's very tough to tell, but like, Against most decks, you want to stay on Awakened as fast as possible. As right. most as possible, because you just keep seeing more cards. Like right. You just get to see more stuff. Because once you Awaken, there's really no draw power outside of some other cards in the deck, but there's not, not much. Right. So you just want to stay in the front, get all your cards, and then try and push for game. So backside, you pitch a card underneath it. You can KO a battle card, randomly rip one, and then, or you can uh, have all their battle cards come and play tap for the next turn. So that's a good defensive mechanic. Uh, I didn't use it actually as much as I thought I was going to, but uh, it did come clutch versus uh, Jiren's I played. But uh, both effects are really good, so. Gotcha. Get into the deck. Uh, started off with uh, the four of the Dark Brawl Unison. Like bread and butter, these two combinations. Yeah. The leader and this Unison. Yeah, so like, if you can establish this on turn three safely, like you always do it. Uh, some games, like you, you don't want to risk it, but like as long as you can uh, establish it turn three and they can't kill it, like you're super far ahead. Like this Unison just wins games. Uh, you pitch a card, they pitch a card, KO battle card, um, and then he also has another effect where if you remove a marker, they have to pitch a card. So usually it's like a pitch two and draw a card. So yeah. it's just really good. Just watch out for those Amasi Deluminators. Yep. Watch yep. out for those. Yeah, you just got to play around those. If, if they're keeping the two energy up, you can just do other things with your energy. Yep. Play this eventually at some point. Yep. Um, and we got three of the nine drop cell. Um, mainly just use this for draw power. Uh, you pitch it off your leader effect, draw a card, and you can take a life. It's like I was talking about earlier. I'm not really sure when to take life, when not to take life with this card. It just depends on the matchup and like how the turns are going. Also, sure, it depends on going first or second. Um, but yeah, no, most of the time I'll just take the life, draw a card, like, you know, just get as many cards in your hand as possible so you can, you know, push for the game. Right. Uh, you also can summon this card late game. Um, if you have four energy, you can sack your board off. So like, you can like play like another card, sack it off, play this for free, 30K meter. Um, also comes up a lot. Yep. Uh, these cards go hand in hand, so we got four, um, four Goku Ape, and we got four Rubrian. So let's do both of those. Uh, basically just a drop area cards that we can use. Um, this one's pay two, draw two. This one's pay two, rip two. Um, I only charge green in the deck for the most part, so uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, so but. you weren't really big on Eliminator, right? Uh, Bardock, Bardock Eliminator? No, so I didn't play Bardock Eliminator because I feel like the card has, like, Value wise, it doesn't really get you much value. Sure, sometimes turn one you'll pitch it and draw a card, um, but I wanted to keep my list at 50. And like the value of a Goku Ape and a value of an Eliminator to me is like Goku Ape's just way more valuable to have in the deck. So I'd rather just have more uh, Goku Ape's. Gotcha, so gotcha. That's pretty much where that's at. And then um, this is just a rip hand, man. You're just trying to rip their hand. That's the main goal of the deck, just hand destruction. For sure. Put them to zero. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely probably the best card in the deck. <laughs> or close to it. Uh, Rosie, yep. more hand destruction. Uh, I bumped this up to three because two was good, but like I always wanted to see more. And, and against most of the slow matchups, the blue matchups, really good versus blue because that's deflect. Um, pitch two gains triple attack. Sometimes I'll even just play this and not even swing. It doesn't matter. You're getting the discard too. Um, costs one more than a Ribrian, but you're still getting value out of it. You're getting so. a body too, so yeah. 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 Swing into battle cards or unisons as well. Very good at killing unisons. Yep. Uh, Overrun for the deck. I ran three Toa. Um, I don't like expensive overwhelms in the deck because you don't really build a big drop area because you're banishing so many you're cards. banishing so many cards. You're using your drop area for other things. So getting three in the drop is very like much easier than getting like six for like a, a bomb or something like that. Like, right. and this card does exactly what the deck wants. It gives you an attacker that you can clear stuff with or like maybe ping a little damage, and uh, also gives your leader a buff and That's pitches super a card. relevant. It's yeah, that leader buff is so relevant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like no, like I definitely three wouldn't change it. Like card was really good all day. Um, 
We got three gone in here. This Marcel is a, Tech, how do you feel about this? Yeah, this is a new addition. Um, gonna be. It came up sometimes. Like, and more was in here just in case. Like, I was getting stalled because, like, I do try and stall my opponents, but there's ways that they can stall me as well yeah. from using my, my effects and stuff. So I put this in here for that. And also, it's just crit damage. So like, it does come up late game when you're going for game. You can like, maybe basically map out the turn. Uh, just like swing crit, you know, like take a damage, and like you just map it out. It's just very easy. Don't let them see any cards. That way, they they can't really like you know like luck sack or whatnot. Right. Uh, but yeah, it was solid. It was solid. Might might go down to two on that. Uh, two charismatic. Uh, was playing three, cut it to two because, like I said, like establishing Dark Brawly wasn't as easy um, as I thought it would be, especially versus like aggro and stuff. So I went with two in the main deck just for late game. If I was able to establish it, I would have like something to kind of like overwhelms or yep. some of their uh, boss monsters and stuff like that. Um, but two is perfect. Uh, we got three of the Boonagate. Um, it comes up sometimes. Uh, most during control control matchups, you don't really use it that much. Uh, it's more for the aggro matchups. Right. Um, other than that, it was pretty much a hard side out um, or a charge. Um, but I think you need three, at least two. But I, I like three. I yeah. think I'm going to really keep it at three. Yeah, when I played yesterday, Gojia, you know, it can be tough. So yeah. it's pretty good for them. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, more defense cards. Uh, I run the Paragus Super Combo. Um, you just want to cycle cards in the deck, like cycling cards. Like, you do have to warp the card. You, you can't put it in the drop area, but you have to warp it. Um, but you really just want the draw two super combo, not the Android 18s so we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, you just want this for defense late game. Uh, for me, it was the best super combo I could run, and it worked perfect. Yeah, final really, cards. Really not much else to say about that card. And then this is probably heavy. A lot of people probably aren't playing this many, but I ran four cells Kamehameha. Yeah, you love this card. Yeah, tell us uh, about it. Yeah, so I was running three yesterday, bumped it up to four. Um, it's like a good turn one play going second, because your opponent's on two energy. They can do some plays. Uh, you just do this, stop a damage, rip a card. It's like not really expected and then late game like it's just very easy to defend with these and it's very easy to pressure with them so like you can defend and then if it comes to your turn you can always put on the aggression with them so right. i mean 15k for one card and rips a card like it's just everything the deck wants and if they ever became clunky you just charge them definitely op yeah i loved it uh this is the freezer package i play so i'll just do the whole freezer package two of those guys uh, three surprise attack Frieza, three Debura, and two Ball. So, so mainly Debura is Debura's the best one. Like Debura, um, you take a marker off your Unison, and it triggers its effect to make them pitch a card, and you also grab a ball from the deck or drop. Yeah. Shout out to Joey for letting me know you can pick up a ball from the drop because yeah, I don't read my cards. So I was like, how are people picking this up from the drop? It's like that's what yeah, it says. The, the way you can sequence <laughs> it is so good. Like Broly pitch ball, pick pitch up ball, ball, or like yeah. do the other order. It's so good. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to him for that. Uh, but yeah, Debra, one of the better cards. Surprise attack freeze is how you do your early damage with crit. Yep. You don't want to give them any cards. I don't attack in the deck very often. I usually let them take their life, or I just wait until they have no cards, and I kind of just like go one at a time. Yep. Just make sure there's no way I can get RNG'd out of the game. For sure. So crit is awesome. And then I did use the ball sometimes. You can put the ball on top and search for this. And uh, it just uh, 20, uh, 15k double strike and it rips a card and you can pick the ball back up. Or you can pick up a Cells Kamehameha if you need to. Which yes. it's, uh, I did it one time, so it does come up. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, the bird is broken though. The bird is really good. I might have to go to four to bird now. Now yeah, that I know that. That but, card's ridiculous. Yeah. So ridiculous. Uh, and then I got the one East Kai. Yep. And I got the one Supreme Kai. Yeah, so me and you talked about this versus Kabito Kai. What, yeah. are, what are your thoughts? So I think Kabito Kai is better versus aggro. Yep. And I think uh, Supreme Kai is better versus like those mid range uh, control matchups. Like it gives you a leg up in some of those matchups. And um, yeah, this card, every time I casted it, like it felt like it made a, a huge impact. And I'm sure Kabito Kai would have too, because Kabito Kai being 40k double strike is also pretty important. Right. Um, but. For right now, I think I'm gonna stick with this, and it's just it's just probably my favorite SCR in the game, so I'm just gonna keep running it. Gotcha. Uh, and then obviously one Kai. I want two Kai, but I don't want to be greedy. Uh, but yeah, I really do want two Kai. But my man hates one ofs. Yeah, I mean they made me do this, and <laughs> they make you play <laughs> the game mechanic. I know, right? But yeah, obviously right. good. Let's that's, check out the sideboard. That's the main deck. Get the cards. Uh, sideboard. Uh, Shout out to the team for this one. You and some other people are teching it in, Shad. Um, I didn't play it, but I didn't really play against the matchups to play it. I played like two Jiren, uh, Sin Shenron, 
to get Gohan. Yeah. So all those matchups that didn't really come into effect. Yeah. I could have sided in versus Sin Shenron, but like I won game one really handily, so I didn't even think to worry about siding it in. Yeah, so uh, the main play with this is just like you cast the, the nine drop that Jordan was talking about on turn four, yep. and then you just you have to make sure you have one yellow energy at least, but you cast this, crit all their lives. So like against um, SS4 Vegeta, Soul yeah. Striker, you have to make sure you just clear the unison so they can't yeah. counterplay it. And then, yeah, they just take four crits. It's actually yeah. ridiculous. And this card is just super strong, too, on the attack, too, because you tap two things, draw a card. Yes. Like, yep. And there are four life now, so, like, that right there could be a push for game in of itself. Yep. Especially if you have your Awaken still available, three energy, and then you have two more left, like, Absolutely easily insane. could kill them. Yeah. So, definitely, probably would side more of this in the future if I had more, but, you know, last-minute addition, you know? Right. So, uh, we got two Demigra on the sideboard. Uh, for aggro, like, I, I, I do think... Uh, Establishing the unison turn one versus aggro is really good. Yep. It also gives you like a free swing every turn that you can swing into stuff and kill it, yep. which is helpful. Um, I sided in versus both my junior matchups and I put in a lot of work. Nice. Yep. And then also with the unison, I sideboarded in the two more charismatic, so I had four. Yep. So if I see this turn one, I have charismatic online for the rest of the game. They're not really going to kill this unless I let them. So yeah, it just was that. more de defense. Uh, I sided two artificial impact. Um, it didn't come in to play because I didn't really need it, but like I thought there might be some matchups where I just want the spot removal. Right. And it also rips a card random from their hand, so it does fit the theme of my deck. Um, so I definitely could see this card being sided in versus some matchups. Kind of nice against Aegis Bojack too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Aegis Bojack. And then like worst case scenario, like if you do side it in, you don't want to use it, like you could charge it or 5K. Yeah. Like it is, a, it is a 5K you can pitch for. So. Yeah. Uh, two shocking deck ball. Um, Aggro. aggro like there's really nothing else like that uh, sparking in case like you know you need that but for the most part just aggro right i didn't really side it in even against jiren i didn't really side in because they play like really tall so like it really didn't do much versus them um two jiren for the blue matchup if it came up i'm not really too worried about the blue matchup but i thought this like would secure it if uh you know for some reason they can get to Android 17 like there's some ramp decks that i didn't really get enough practice versus that might be able to you know get it off so having this in there means I for sure win that matchup, so decided to sideboard it. Didn't come up. And 3 BMS, this is the card I sided in pretty much every game because everybody sides into Boros. So. so so games two and three, side this in, turn one play, and then if they have the Boros, they can't really summon them. Yeah, so just with that real quick. So like, Cell Surge obviously like destroyed best of one, but like now you yeah. have to worry about Devorah and you're siding hate against the hate, right? So yeah. like, how do you feel about Cell Surge at best of three with all that going on? Uh, I think Cell Surge is a top three deck in the format. Um, I, I just think this deck, it, it can get through Deburra's. Like, it's tough, but like, if you establish this turn one, uh, blue really can't answer it very well, and neither can yellow. Like, they can tap it down, but like, that's why I was running for um, Super Kamehameha. I was actually defending my Mastang with Super Kamehameha's, and they were just like, couldn't kill it. Like, right. it was just doing value, but yeah. Very I think cool. this is definitely a good best of three deck. You heard it here, the first ever national champ says Soul Surge top three deck of the format. Jordan, thank you so much, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, any shout outs? Uh, shout out to the team. Shout out to you, Joey. The boys. The boys. Uh, yeah, no. Thanks for letting me do the deck profile. All right, thank you, man. Later. Yeah.